Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-information.com. Today in this lecture, we are going to see how we can take the screenshot in WebDriver IO. Okay, so it's a very easy step. It is just you need to call a function and you can take the screenshot and you can use for the further processing. Maybe you want to add into the report, you want to generate HTML report, PDF report, any kind of report you want to take and you can use the same. Fine. So let me show you the official documentation. So right now I am on WebDriver IO official documentation and the moment I click on API, you can see I have all these functions that I can use. So if you see one of the function is save screenshot. So it will save a screenshot of the current browser context to a PNG file on your operating system. Now there's a special note here that be aware that some of the browser take the screenshot of the whole document. So they have given example of Firefox. But for others, it will only take the current view. Okay, so I will show you what exactly it means. So when you go with, uh, you know, Chrome browser or any browser on, which is on Chromium based, it will take the current view, which is visible. But with uh, Firefox, it will take the complete document screenshot. So how you have to use it? You just need to call save screenshot and you have to provide the file path. Make sure you provide the extension. So if you go with async mode you have to use await then you can call browser dot save screenshot and give the path and you have to use async here but if you're going with synchronous mode you don't have to use that await and async okay so we'll go with async mode because this will continue from the next year onwards so let's quickly see so i'm going to create a new javascript file and i will say this is screenshot demo JS file so you can use any other existing JS file as well it is just we need to call browser dot take a screenshot sorry browser dot save screenshot okay so let's continue with describe now if you don't want to create a new file you can use any existing JS file as well I'm just creating everything from the scratch and I will save this as screenshot in webdriver IO this is the test suite name I'm giving now we need a test so I will write it block and I will give this block name as uh, screenshot for Chrome. Okay. Now I'm using uh, this snippet. Okay. So in order to continue, we need a browser session. So I can take any URL. Okay. So I'm going to take this WebDriver IO and I will write await browser dot URL and I will pass this URL. Now, if I want to capture the screenshot, I will use await again and I will say browser dot save screenshot. Okay. So now I have to provide the file path. So if I just in double quotes, if I put dot, which is current working directory, then I'll put one forward slash and I will say this file name is, let's say webdriver io dot png. This is important. You have to give the extension, then only it will work. So basically this will capture the screenshot and since we are mentioning current working directory so this webdriver io.png will come in the home directory so let's run this program okay so before we execute let's quickly add async here okay now let's run this program so how do we run it we will simply write npx webdriver io run then we will provide the path of webdriver io.config.js then hyphen hyphen is pack which is one of the flag then i'm going to provide this file name which is screenshot demo.js and let's run this so it will not take much time because we are not doing any other activity it is just launching the url capturing the screenshot okay so right now it should take and we should get this png again you can use this for you know multiple uh, places depends on your requirement as you can see it's done now and if you notice here this png is available can you see webdriver io.png the moment i open this file you can see it has captured the screenshot okay now suppose you want to store at some specific location so in my case let's say i want to create one folder here inside that folder i want to save this screenshot so I will create one folder here and I will give this folder name is screenshots. Okay. Now I want all the screenshots should be in this folder. 
so i will just mention this that focus on the current working directory then inside directory move to screenshots folder there you can store this web driver io.png file okay so now let's run this and let's see whether it's storing the screenshot inside this folder or not so i've executed the same command So running in Chrome, session started, and this time it should capture the screenshot. And yes, can you see this? We got the screenshot now inside this screenshot folder. The reason is because we have changed the location. So depends on a requirement in which directory you want to save the screenshot. You can use this screenshot, save screenshot function, and you can use this screenshot for further reporting. Okay. Yeah, nothing much in this session. So that's all for this video, guys. I hope you have learned something new. If yes, then do support this channel, share with your friends, subscribe to this channel, and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.